Greetings, dear friends, in the strong name of our Lord Jesus. Uh, he is risen. He is risen indeed. Welcome to another special point of view this first week of Easter time. We celebrated on Sunday the resurrection of our Lord. And we use Luke 24 verses 1 through 12 to talk about this remarkable idea. He is not here. We see that Jesus of Nazareth is no longer in the tomb. He is risen. He is risen indeed. This was the sermon of the week. Today we drill down a little bit and talk about Jesus as the last or second Adam. As the last Adam, Jesus' resurrection body will become the pattern for an entirely new human race. I love this picture of our Lord sort of going to the realm of the dead and rescuing Adam out of, the, out of that realm. Uh, uh, it's an intriguing idea. Was Adam the first Adam, uh, the, the, the father of all the living? Was he saved? Uh, it, it is, it's intriguing to think about that. There, it is clear in the Bible that the last Adam is the pattern for a whole new human race. Paul can say in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 45 through 49, thus it is written, the first Adam became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. And Paul will now, in verses 46 through 49, compare and contrast these two Adams, Adam and Jesus of Nazareth. But it is not, verse 46, it is not the spiritual that is first, but the natural and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, a man of dust. The second man is from heaven. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are of the dust. And as is the man of heaven, so also are those who are of heaven. Just as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the man of heaven. In this teaching, Paul says that in the same way that our bodies physically were built on the pattern of Adam, so our new resurrection bodies would be built on this new pattern of Christ, the one in whom there was no sin and our sin was laid on him. Whereas the first Adam failed, leading to death, the last Adam survived. He won, he triumphed over death, and now we will live forever because of him. Thanks for watching. If you've been blessed by this video, please like, share, and subscribe.